Excellent. Let's get started. So this uh, in this Microsoft 365 demo feature video, whatever we call this, I don't know. Um, we kind of actually talk about the Viva Connection announcements feature, uh, which actually got a lot of an, a lot of attention already previously, or whenever we kind of teased that it's coming up. Uh, with me in this video is Nancy Honda. Uh, she is the owning PM, feature PM uh, of this capability. Will you do a quick intro, and Nancy, who you are? Hi, everybody. This is Nancy. I'm a product manager on OneDrive SharePoint um, org, and I work closely with Viva Connections team. Announcements is one of the new features that we're working on, and we're very excited to bring this to GA very soon. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely do a live demo, but then we'll do a quick kind of an intro. What does the announcement, so what, what, what does it provide for us, and, and how does it work? Yeah, so as the name suggests, uh, announcements is is a feature that uh, lets uh, a company share time sensitive important information with the employees so it's a quick way to send out uh, any call to actions any important updates or maybe talk about trainings policies uh, any important reminders that need to go out to employees uh, announcements uh, is is as is an easy way to uh, create a content and share with the employees and get attention that's needed. So we'll talk about the flow and how it, it shows up on top of the uh, uh, Viva Connections page yeah. uh, so that employees can get uh, can make action. They can they can take the uh, take anything which is important. And uh, yeah, that's that's the announcement yeah. feature. The immediate follow up question is, OK, how does that difference with Asia and news and news and articles? Uh, it's like, well, what's the difference? What, what what's the added value? Yeah, so uh, in addition to how it's easy to differentiate between news and announcements uh, from the metadata perspective, it's also different because announcements is a short update which is going out to employees. So we want this to be ex extremely uh, important piece of information which is shared with employees. So it's it's a short uh, form of content. There's a character limit on what we are sharing, and it also has a prominent place on the canvas. So we were just talking about that. So we want the employees to focus on this piece of an uh, announcement, this piece of information, so it shows up on top of the page itself. So we yeah. don't want the employees to miss it. Uh, also talking about how it's created, it's a bit different from how SharePoint News would work. So we would allow Viva Connections uh, uh, operator or the editor to be able to create announcements as as soon as they're in Viva Connections desktop experience, um, or they have an option to go to home site, SharePoint home site to create an announcement. Yeah, so either way. And, and of course, it's more targeted on multiple devices and all of that, so people can actually more easily access that. And we'll, we'll right. do a live demo on that one. Right. Let's actually jump on the desktop uh, and the desktop experience and start the demos from there and, and see it in practice. That sounds good, okay. So here we are, we are in Viva Connections desktop experience, and we will talk about how an announcement is created. So on the top right gear, I would find an announcement uh, feature in the dropdown. I click on it based on the permission I have. If I have edit permission on Viva Connections, I will be able to come and create a new announcement. I can find a suitable title for my announcement. So here I'm saying um, hiring new. And, so it's uh, incredibly hard to write when somebody is watching you when you're writing. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> I'll try to be quick with that. All good. <laughs> Uh, there's a message which we can add to to the uh, title. I have an option to target the right audience. So based on um, the based on the target group, based on who should be seeing this, I would I will be able to uh, pick up the groups, uh, the number of groups that I'm interested in. We also have a feature called scheduling in case this announcement needs to go out later. Uh, so if I do click scheduling on, I will be able to um, select a different date and time. For now, I'll keep it 
uh, off because we want to see how this announcement show up uh, on Viva Connections. There's a default expiration date of two weeks. I can select any time window within next two weeks. I have certain more options, which um, like I, I would be able to uh, add a link if I have a call to action. So I can use that. Um, my users will be able to click here and take action. I also have an option to make my announcement dismissible. So if if the author wants this announcement to be dismissible, this will be an additional feature available on the announcement. I will quickly ask an immediate question on that one. So do we track who are the people who already dismissed? So can we use this as an acknowledgement of the actions or is that something which we might do potentially in future? Yeah, that's a good one. So analytics associated with announcement, that is something which we are working on and that should follow as soon as um, that should follow soon. Dismissible is one of the uh, asks which would sim uh, simplify author's life understanding who is reading my announcement, who's dismissing Correct. it. So Correct. as a, as an acknowledgement, this is something which we are tracking and we'll be reporting on, on it. Excellent. So I I am able to click next and um, I can either save, it, save this as a draft and decide to come back and edit later or I can click send announcement right now. As soon as I click sending uh, send announcement, I would be able to get a notification that this is sent out and I can go and see all the announcements. So let's do that now. When I'm on my Viva Connections desktop experience, I have on the top a banner and all my important announcements would show up on the carousel on top. So I can uh, browse through my announcements. I can click on something which I want to read. Yep. On my L1 experience, I can read more about the announcement itself. And Is there a way to control the order which the announcements are listed? On the publish order, so anything which is most recent comes on the top. OK, OK. And uh, I clicked on the announcement that we just created. I have an option to dismiss it. Yep. Yeah. I can now go to the see all experience to find. So dismiss basically removes this announcement from the carousel, but now I want to go back to all the announcements that I need to see. So any active announcement or the dismissed announcements, I can find those from the see all experience. And of course that dismissing is only for that particular user, so it's user specific dismiss. Right, that, yeah, that's thanks for calling that out. That's more like a archive option. That's more like a snooze option. So yeah. I want to come back to it later and I want to take action later. So I have two tabs on the announcement see all. Active, uh, any announcement that was created that's not expired yet will show up here. And on the dismiss tab, I will be able to find any announcement that I as a user dismissed and I want to come back to it. Really cool and, and a simple, I think that the whole objective here was to provide a simple announcement process which works consistently across any device, um, which is a great segue to the next day set of videos because we actually did pre-record uh, the mobile and the tablet experience because this isn't just the works, uh, work, uh, come on, uh, it's just for the workspace for English is so hard. This isn't only for this experience, so you can actually do the same announcements using the mobile and tablet as well. So let's have a look on those. Um, and I think Nan Nancy, you'll walk them through uh, as we look on the videos, right? That's right. Yeah. Let's let's look at the viewing flow on uh, tablet and mobile next. So as we saw, um, authoring is possible on the Viva Connections desktop experience and from the SharePoint home site. Uh, once the announcement is published, it shows up on the top banner on Viva Connections desktop, and it also shows up on mobile and tablet. So let's look at the uh, mobile flow next. I'm on Viva Connections mobile experience, and on the top we have a similar carousel. 
I can browse through all the announcements on top. We click on one of the announcements to load more information. I can either dismiss or close it. Similar to desktop, I have a see all experience, active and dismissed apps. To view all my announcements, there's also another entry point, which is from the bottom. That's, That's the it for the mobile. mobile. Now, on the mobile, I need to ask, uh, those announcements, are those getting, they're not getting notified in a mobile site, right? So they're not notifications in a mobile, like, like in a mobile notification site. Actually, there are uh, notifications on mobile and okay. uh, tablet both. Uh, so as soon as the announcement is created, we we uh, actually we should have we could have seen that. Uh, if we create an announcement uh, and uh, uh, followed with that is a is a notification that shows up on the mobile and tablet. Users okay. able to tap on the notification and then they would be able to open that in Viva Connections app. Cool. And that's getting automatically then redirected to the Teams and Viva Connection app as you click the notification. Excellent. That's, that's right. really, yeah. really cool. I think we still have the mobile uh, experience as well. So let's have a look on that as well. Uh, the next or, is tablet. Oh, yes. Yes. Tablet. I have English. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's Let's look at the tablet experience next. We support both portrait and landscape mode. On the top, we have the carousel as we as, as we saw on mobile and desktop. Fantastic all out as we're walking through the video. Obviously, said this this is recorded before, so it's not necessarily exactly the same announcements what we saw in the in the desktop experience. Right. right. Uh, so the announcements on mobile and um, tablet are not same as what we were seeing on desktop because we pre-recorded the videos on uh, the mobile and the tablet experience. Yeah. But they, they should all be the same. Similar to uh, the other places, other surfaces, we have a see all experience. We have active and dismissed tab. Uh, users able to dismiss announcements if they want to, and they can come back here. We are also seeing the notification here. So users are able to click on the uh, Viva Connections notification that goes out on the device itself. As soon as they click on it, they're able to, uh, they would be launching the Teams app and they can find the, find the announcement. Yeah, really, very cool. Awesome, awesome capabilities and simplifies communications for sure. Cool, really awesome. Excellent, thank you, Nancy, on that one. Really cool. And uh, the desktop, the tablet, and the mobile all kind of an exactly the same experience. And I guess that's pretty much the objective with Viva Connection. So we're trying to make it look exactly the same and feel exactly the same, uh, regardless of the device what you're using. Now, uh, this is a great feature. And uh, there was immediately like a lot of like, hey, what if we would do this and this and this? Well, any any teasers on maybe potential uh, upcoming features? I, I'm sure that this is just the first version. So we're going to keep on evolving the announcements even more. Is that correct? So uh, in terms of next things, new capabilities that are coming in announcements, we are looking at the new analytics. Uh, so that would be something to look forward to. Uh, there's net new work, which is uh, looking at 
uh, integrating uh, with teams so that will be something we feel will be very valuable for ca- for our customers that's been a prominent ask we have heard from customers so that's something we are investigating then we're looking well, at now, more audience targeting i have to interrupt obviously it is in teams already but even more integrations within a teams right so, so just to call that, it out <laughs> yeah just just hold on for what what it brings but you're exactly. right exactly. we are bringing more integrations with what uh, microsoft teams offers yeah 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 and then we are looking at another layer of audience targeting so uh, these are all big asks we have heard from customers so yes we are working on those and those should come very quickly and then maybe a final question from a platform and development side are there any apis to automate any of these things or is that something which is in the roadmap as well that's uh, something we are still working on that's on the roadmap uh, we will uh, talk about those plans as soon as those are available but we we are thinking about those cool cool any 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 other things on your mind related on uh, the feature itself uh, or should we just basically summarize and say start using that please let us know what do you like it uh, we're obviously building all of these features and capabilities for our customers so it's really important that they tell us back um, yeah. how they're working uh, because again we can then adjust those things but I guess that's it then for this one. So thank you, Nancy, uh, joining on this one. Really, really cool features. Thank you for preparing the demos. Um, all good with that. Uh, and looking forward on the next steps with the announcements. Thanks for inviting inviting me and thanks for covering announcements. Uh, looking forward to getting feedback from all the customers, some dog fooding and a- any kind of feedback we hear from customers that that's going to be super valuable. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, Nancy. Thank you.